Hey, Betsalami, it's me, Presley. Today, I have a bunch of brand new scams that I need to show you guys. Don't forget that I'm doing a huge Robux giveaway. If you want to enter, all you have to do is leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below how many pink pretzels you see flying across the screen in this video. And don't forget your Roblox username so I know who to give the Robux to. Also, if you enter the Robux giveaway today, make sure you join the Pretzel Army official group right here. Because if you're not in the group, I can't pay the Robux out to you. Scam number one, the naming scam. Now the first scam is probably the most basic one, but it's happened to me quite a few times. What people do is they'll grab any random pet and then they'll dress it up and go into their name. And they'll name their pet something like Jerry, and then they'll press Control J, age, and then full grown. And then they'll press Control J a bunch of times to make a whole bunch of new lines and then put A down at the bottom. So now if you press save and you go into your backpack, it says albino monkey, name, Jerry, age, full grown. And then you have to scroll to get to where it says age, newborn. And it's actually a newborn pet, but in its name, it says full grown. Oh no. So people will do this and they'll trade four pets that are all newborn, but change their name so that they're all full grown. So make sure you always click on a pet and scroll all the way down so that you know all of the information about the pet and whether it's ride and fly, because they can also go in, go into dress up and then do can ride, can fly. And all of this looks pretty official. So make sure you look out for that one. All right, on to scam number two. Scam number two, the try it out scam. This next scam is a pretty sneaky one, but if you know how to avoid it, you will be able to. But to show you guys this scam, I'm gonna need help from a friend, Mr. Scammer Cat, who's actually just an account on a laptop that I have. Look at us jumping up and down together. For this scam, you and a random person are going to jump into a trade request, and it's just going to be a normal trade, and it will usually be with quite rare pets. And especially new pets. When pets are first released into a game, like in a new egg or a new update, this happens a lot. Now what will happen is you put in this pet and then they'll put in some other random pet, but it doesn't matter because it's what they say that matters. We can see that the scammer said right here, I've never seen that pet before. I have a fly ride frost, I want to trade for it but I'm not sure I like the pet. And then they'll ask something like, could I try out your pet before I go through with this trade? Now, most of the time, you're going to instantly say no to people just saying, hey, can I just have your pet for a minute? Obviously, you're going to say no to that, but it's the way that they like put you in a situation where it's, oh, you can have a fly ride frost if you let me use it. But if you don't, then I can't really give you my fly ride frost. So a lot of people will go, yes, 100%, and then accept the trade just like that and hand over their Neon Fly Ride or just extremely valuable pet to these people with the promise that they might get a Fly Ride Frost Dragon in return. But really, Pretzel Army, these people will get your pet and instantly pull it out to say, oh yeah, I'm just trying it, I'm just trying it, I'm flying around and then I'm flying out of this server and I'm never coming back. So Fred Salami, something you need to make sure of is that you always do trades in a trade screen and nothing else. If someone hasn't tried out that pet, then that's their bad luck. You shouldn't be giving them the pet to try out. So that's the second scam. But this next one is insane. And something else that's pretty insane is the brand new 2 million subscriber merch at presleyshop.com right now. This is limited edition. It's currently off pre-order and it's on sale right now. So go grab it ASAP. And I'll let you know, you guys are absolutely loving these shirts. So if you want one, there's not too much time left to grab one. Scam number three, the Switch scam. For this scam, someone will have a really, really good pet in a server that everyone's trying to trade for. And just like a normal Adopt Me player would, they're saying what they would accept for that pet in the chat. That's like a normal thing to do. They just say, hey, if anyone has a ride fish, come and trade me. But you'll kind of figure out, this is a bit weird. A fly ride frost dragon for a ride rare pet? That's a bit weird. <laughs> like that trade, if it was normal, wouldn't be fair. It would be very much like an overpay on the Frost Dragon side. But you'll go into your backpack, you'll scroll through and you go, oh, I don't have a ride fish. I guess I can't do this trade. But wait, 
What's that over there? Oh my gosh, it's someone trading a ride fish. And then instantly you go, wait, if that person's trading a ride fish and that person's trading a frost dragon, I can get the ride fish and then trade for the frost dragon. So you go ahead, you trade at this person with the ride fish. You jump in and you go all excited. You put in some really, really good pets, but not enough that are worth a frost dragon, but definitely way more than what a fish is worth. And then once you put in a bunch of your best random pets, like literally you will go through, I've seen people do this. I've seen people do this on live streams. Even I've fallen into this like scam. You just go in, you put in a bunch of like random pets and you're like, yeah, this is worth a ride fee. So I'm definitely going to be able to get it. But that's not worth a frost dragon. I'm still getting a really, really good deal. So let's go through. Let's accept this. They want to. That's awesome. Now, this is definitely an overpay for the ride fish, but for the frost dragon, it's 100% worth it. So let's confirm. And then, come on. There we go. Here we are. There. Yes. So we've got our ride fish. Now we can go trade the frost dragon person. Wait a minute. The frost dragon person's gone. And wait a minute. The person who trade me the ride fish is gone? Because spoiler alert. This is one person on two different accounts in the same server doing this scam. Mr. and Mrs. Scammer Cat at it again. It's quite an elaborate scam, but it works really, really well on a lot of people. So look out for it. Scam number four, the pick a door scam. This scam is actually one that I do all the time. I mean, wait, I don't do the scam. I do the same thing that people do, but then they do it different to scam. Whoops. I don't scam, but this is the pick a door scam. What people will do is they'll say ABC to pick a door. And how this mini game usually works, how it works in my videos, is people come into my house for free, pick a door for free, and then whatever's behind that door, they get as a prize. But what scammers do is once you enter their home, they'll ask you for money. They'll put down a cash register or they'll put down a lemonade, hot dog or cotton candy stand. They'll put it down, set the price to max and get you to buy a couple of them. Usually it's around $100 that they want to get from you. Then once you head all the way up here, you get to choose your mystery door. Which one do you choose? I'm gonna go with green. I think green is the best choice. Ah, uh, there was nothing behind green. I mean, pink was my second option. So let's see if there's anything behind pink. Nothing as well. I have a suspicion about this. Nothing behind the blue door either. This whole thing is a complete scam. You pay this person a hundred bucks to come in and hopefully get something for free when really you're not getting anything and you just gave them a hundred bucks completely for free. Don't do this. If someone asks you to do the pick a door challenge, jump into their house, go for it. But if they get you to give them an item or money, don't go through with it, 100% a scam. People only ever do this challenge as a nice thing to do. Like what I do, I just do it to give away free pets to Fred Slime members. But people aren't doing it for free, that's when you know it's a scam. Now onto the next scam, which has probably happened to you. Scam number five, the neon scam. <laughs> For this scam, you'll just be in a normal server and someone will pull out a potion that looks like this or literally any other type of potion. This is just the example one. And they'll say, Turning pets neon with my neon potion. And because so many Adopt Me players don't know what the different potions are, they mostly just know the fly and ride potions, they straight up believe that there is such thing as a neon potion, which there isn't. There is no such thing as a neon potion that can turn your pet neon. But that's what players think. And then they'll go ahead and pull out their best pet that they want to make neon. Let's pull out our toasty red panda for this example. And straight away, they'll just give item from backpack chuck in the toasty red panda, and they get super excited when their pet is turning neon. And the scammer might even feed your pet the potion. And then you wait for your brand new pet to turn neon, and it's just a little bit bigger. Where did they go? That's what happens. They'll just disappear with your pet. And these scams are going to be in-game forever. Have the best day ever. Peace.